Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see how to master data structures and algorithms. And if you're watching my video for the first time, my name is Ashish Kumar. I make videos on placement preparation, data structures and algorithms, etc. So if that's your content, then do subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So DSA, as you may know, is something of utmost importance in the field of computer, spi computer science, especially if you want to crack the interviews of top companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon. So if you want to get into a company like that, you're going to encounter problems related to DSA. So you need to have a strong knowledge of DSA before being able to crack such interviews. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can become a master of DSA, what you need to practice, how you need to practice, what you need to learn, how you need to learn, everything I'm going to tell you in this video. So let's just get straight into it. So the first thing that you need to do, the first step is to get a list of the data structures and algorithm that you're going to learn. So I'll just write list out the DSA, okay? So list out the DSA. So you're going to make two lists. So right now what you're going to do is you're going to make two lists, one list for the DS and one list for the algorithm. So you're going to make two lists, one list for the data structure and one list for the algorithm. Now, how will you get a list of these things? Well, just Google DSA complete list. So if you Google DSA list, then you're going to find on Geeks for Geeks. So Geeks for Geeks is an amazing website. So you'll find it on Geeks for Geeks, a list of data structure and a list of algorithms which are important. So create your own two list. And for note making, I'm a firm believer in note making. So I'll tell you two online note making software which are free. One is Notion and another one is Google Doc. Okay, so use either one of these and you'll be making notes like I suggest you to. So either, either take Notion or take Google Doc and create first two lists, one of the data structure and a one of the algorithm. And for finding the DSA list, Google search or just go on Geeks for Geeks. It has the list of data structures and it has the list of algorithms. So after you've listed out the DSA that you're going to learn, now the actual work begins. And the next step is learning a programming language. Okay. So people say the language doesn't matter and you can choose any language you want, but I strongly suggest you to either learn C++ or learn Java. So I'll just write C++ or Java, or you can learn both. So C++ and or Java. Okay. People also suggest Python, but I'm going to strongly suggest to you to not take Python and either take C++ and or take Java. And if you have the time, then take both. Okay. So you need to learn either C++ or Java and if you have time, learn both. Now the time in which you're going to learn this can be of a week. So a week is a pretty reasonable time to learn all the syntax of a language, all the concept of a language. But if you want to take more time, then you can take up to two weeks, depending on the time you have. But I would say one week is more than enough to learn any programming language, all of its syntax. And the best way to learn any language is simply code as you go. Instead of just learning the concept, let's just learning the theory, code as you go and learn the language. Now, I'll also strongly suggest you to learn both, okay? Because a lot of companies have requirements of uh, doing the problems only in Java or only in C++. So it will be better if you learn both, if you have the time, or either one is fine. Now, how you can learn C++? For C++, you have websites like Geeks for Geeks. So Geeks for Geeks is an amazing website. And then you have tutorials point, you have C++ point, and for Java, you have Java T point. So learn the languages from here. And one concept in C++ is pointers. So if you're learning C++, make sure that you have a good knowledge of pointers because it's going to come in the DSA implementation part. And for Java, you're going to be learning object-oriented programming as in classes, objects, things like that. So just learn either and both, either or both of these languages and you're good to go. So take one week to two week, but I'll say one week is enough. Okay, so so far you've learned C++ and or Java. Now what do you need to do? Now you're going to take your list of data section algorithm. You're going to pick either one, either DS or algorithm, both of them you can do simultaneously. So you can pick either one of them. For example, suppose you take trees, right? You're going to be learning about trees. Or suppose you take uh, greedy or you take something like uh, DFS. So whatever you take, whatever you take from the list of either data and algorithm. So you're going to now learn that. So for any DS or algorithm, there's only this two part comprising of it. 
and that is theory and the implementation okay so theory and implementation is there for every data structure and algorithm and you need to know both to master it okay so the theory and the implementation so first you need to learn the theory obviously and then you can jump to the implementation okay so the best way to learn theory of any data structure algorithm whether that's tree dynamic programming dfs greedy whatever it is the best way to learn the theory is youtube tutorial and i'm not even kidding right now youtube tutorial is the best way to learn theory so i'm going to suggest to you some channels from where you can learn from where i learned myself so some channels are abdul bari and then you have yatushar roy and you have striver tushar roy striver like that or you can simply just search like trees theory or trees in order traversal theory so go on youtube and learn the theory from youtube tutorial it is it is the best way to learn the theory part now after you've learned the theory you need to implement it and implementation is basically the code part of it so right now after learning the theory you will not be able to code it yourself so first you need to take a look at someone else's implementation okay so first what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at someone else's implementation of that data structure algorithm so for that you can go on github and you can take a look at ashish gupta's code library so ashish gupta is one of india's top computer programmer so go to ashish gupta's code library on github and from there whatever ds you're doing just see the code or you can go on geeks for geeks like i said geeks for geeks is a holy bible is the holy bible of computer science students and then read the theory read the code or i should say understand the code understand what each line in the code is doing okay so first look at someone else's implementation of the dsa okay now after you've understood the code now you're going to code it yourself so i'll just write code it yourself or implement yourself so code it yourself okay so if you're coding it yourself you're going to find some errors so look at the other code for reference but in the end make the implementation yourself get a correct code which you've written yourself and after that store it again in either notion or google doc okay because you might you may forget it later on and document the code what do i mean by document the code so when you're storing the code in either notion or google doc next to each line uh put what that line is doing okay put what that line is for document the code so later on when you revise you're able to recollect what you wrote okay so documenting the code is very important and like i said store the code in either notion or google doc so so far what you've done is you've learned the programming language you have the list of dsa and for each list you're uh, you're learning the theory from youtube or uh, any other website if you want and then you're implementing first you impl first you're looking at the implementation of someone else's code and then you're coding it yourself and now the most important part is solving problems okay so let's see that now okay so the next step like i said is solving problems so what you've done so far for each data structure algorithm you uh, for any data structure algorithm what you've done so far is you've learned the theory and you've done the implementation and the next step you need to do for the ds that you're on is the problems you need to solve problems okay so the next step is solving problems and this is the most important step because this is what tests your understanding of dsa so like i said you've picked any data structure and algorithm you've learned the theory you've done the implementation and now it's time to solve the problems of that dsa so for example you were doing trees okay so you learned the theory you wrote the code and now for solving problems you're going to go on lead code so lead code is the best website for dsa okay so i strongly suggest you to solve problems from lead code you can go to other websites if you want but like i said lead code is the best website for solving dsa problems so if you're solving suppose you were on trees you learned the theory you did the implementation you so and now it's time to solve problems so go on lead code search in the problem section on the search bar search trees okay so there's three categories of problems there's easy there's medium and there's hard okay so some problems some hard problems you may not be able to understand even after seeing the solution so that is okay put those problems under unsolved category in your notes okay 
but apart from that try to solve at least 4 to 5 easy 3 to 4 medium and 1 to 2 hard problems okay this is the minimum that you need to solve the ideal amount is solve as many as you possibly can and i'm not kidding okay you can you should solve as many as you possibly can depending on the time but the minimum is solve 4 to 5 easy 3 to 4 medium and 1 to 2 hard okay so this is 3 to 4 and this is 4 to 5 Okay, and the minimum one to two hard problem, so you get a feel of how hard, how tough problems can be. Okay, so now two things will happen. Either you'll be able to solve the problem yourself, and this problem is solved, and you'll code it yourself, you'll get the correct answer, well and good. Or you may not be able to solve the problem yourself, but so in that case, you can go on to discussion forum, and you can look at someone else's approach, and then code it yourself, or you can look at, look at the solution, Look at someone else's approach and try to code it yourself. And if you have trouble coding, look at someone else's code. But in the end, the code that should be accepted should be your own only. Your own only. Now, the problem which you are not able to solve, again, document them. So like I said, note making is a very essential part of DSA or learning anything, to be honest. So I've already mentioned either Notion or Google Doc, whatever you choose, go there. And whatever problem you are not able to solve, note it down. How are you going to note it down? Note your approach, whatever your approach was, which failed and note down the correct approach. So your approach versus correct approach. Why is that? Because I've seen a lot of people make the same exact mistake again and again. So document your approach and document the correct approach. So later on when you revise, then you'll find on wherever you've made the notes, whatever approach went wrong. And like I said, if you were unable to solve a problem, even after reading the solution, put it under unsolved category and then later on, after you've had some expertise with practice, you can try them out again. So that's it guys, that's basically it. So you've learned a programming language, for, you've, you've ha you have a list of DSA for each one, you've learned the theory, for each one you've learned the theory, you've done the implementation and you've solved the problem. And it's not easy, let me tell you, it's not easy to be a master of DSA, it is difficult, but if you give it daily dedication, if you show it dedication, if you show it hard work, then you'll become a master of DSA before you even know it. Like they say, practice makes a man perfect and here it cannot be any more true. So you need to practice problems, you need to understand concepts and before you know it, you'll be a master of DSA.